Hello everybody, we have another video today. You've seen my previous video where I made these Tanfa hammers and uh, you can see it, they didn't turn out too well because the, the functioning of a Tanfa doesn't go along with a, the functioning of a hammer, right? And um, a Reddit user actually told me about this and uh, thank you for you know the critiques that was given to me by this person so what I wanted to do was make a tonfa check it out For this tonfa, I have used a simple board, you know, it's it's like an inch by half an inch board that's about six feet long, and it wasn't long enough, so I had another smaller piece about a foot, two feet long, and it's made of walnut. I already had some extra pieces from the handles from the last time uh, when I made the Tonfa hammers. All I had to do now is cut the pieces. The pieces for the Tonfa parts. Once those pieces were cut, I was able to glue them. I made sure they were all the proper sizes and then placed a single bleed bead, single bead of glue or two lines of glue onto the boards. Made sure they were all spread out properly towards the edges and glued them together. see I have clamped these properly. When you're clamping for glue you have to make sure that the clamp force is properly cancelled out because when you clamp something from that line of the clamping there's a 45 degree angle that goes down that's the force lines and you have to make sure that it intersects with the other clamp 45 degree force lines. This is just something that I learned when I was gluing stuff. While the main ton for pieces were gluing and drying, I started on the handle. I put it on the lathe and started carving away. And here's a little satisfying video for you.
once the handles were done you can see I compared both of them made sure that they were similar not you know exactly perfect because I don't think I am that skilled on the lathe just yet to make them all look perfect if you've seen my chess video before this I've made some pawns before that you know are very similar to each other so I had a little bit of you know help from that I had a little bit of uh, experience that I used from that video so once the handles were done I started on the Tanfa main pieces I put those on the lathe I made sure that uh, they both look the same. You can see I wanted the design to have two different things. I made sure that the bottoms of the tonfa, this part right here, had a grip on it of some sort because sometimes people hold them in that place. And then of course a thicker connection piece where I could drill a hole and put the handle into but then at the end where my fist points towards I wanted it to have a slender form once that was done I made sure that I wanted to place the handles in the right place I was putting the handles in the right place by just checking with my hand or my arm uh, made sure that my elbow is covered as well as my fist is in the right place once I had the proper positioning I drilled the hole in both of the tonfas now you would think that drilling a hole in the tonfa might make it less strong or you know, ruin the strength of that piece but what really happens is that when the glue goes into the hole and the handles go in, the wood from the handle and the glue and the wood from the tonfa pieces, they become a strong bond. So once I put the handles into the tonfas, they were a very good friction joint, but I still wanted to make sure that the glue was holding them a bit more stronger since we wanted that strength in that piece in that part once that was done i started to polish them just to make sure that they're waterproof i used just some cutting board oil it's made out of linseed oil and i just polished those on there and once they were all polished and ready, I, you know, tried out, I tried them out and made sure that they were, you know, usable and functional. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below, you know, make sure you like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the other videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.
Thank you.